out there welcome to uh, Unchained Skids Helpful Vids number one. We're gonna try something a little bit different today. So as you can see the uh, van here is parked in uh, kind of my driveway back lane-ish kind of thing. Now where it is right there there's actually no pavement. So what it's done over the course of a really weird winter and going into spring now is it's sunk into the mud and the ice there and it ain't going anywhere. I, uh, I looked this up on the uh, internet I guess you can see the back wheels. The back wheels aren't going anywhere. Um, and it apparently it's a known problem for vans like this. So the last thing I want is for this to happen on the road, so maybe this is a good thing. So I got some of these. It comes in a box like this from Canadian Tire. I don't know what you get in the States, but probably something similar. We're going to give these a try and see if they work. So this video is either going to go up somewhere and have a roaring success of how this actually worked to get the van out, or this is going to end up in my archive of the worst possible things that ever happened is I either blow a tire or take out my transmission because the differential all screws up or something worse happens. Or maybe I hit a car that's coming by as this thing finally pops loose. Hopefully none of that happens. Anyway, without further ado, let's give it a try. The little thing here on the box, not a whole lot of instructions, but there is a little picture there that says put the pointy things down, which I think probably makes sense because otherwise bad things are going to happen to your tire. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna do the other side. Well, hot damn, that actually kind of worked. The van's over there. My awesome neighbor who's gonna let me put it there for two seconds as I get ready, uh, that kind of worked. Let's see the, uh, the end result here. So this one managed to stay, but look, it actually threw the one, whoa, it threw the one on the, uh, the uh, right-hand side. So yeah, that's how bad it was. So these are the kind of ruts that I was dealing with. And again, Partly, it's just because the mud in the ground getting kind of wet and the van weight pushing down, but then me trying like hell to get the hell out of here, uh, which just made it way worse. So that's why I stopped doing that and decided to get something to help. So van lifers out there, uh, let's uh, profit from this little experience. So I'm lucky this happened to me at home uh, and I, uh, I could uh, go to the hardware store and, and get some stuff to deal with it. I am definitely taking those with me on the road. I would recommend that anybody with a similar van, especially if you're uh, taking it off road anywhere and you know you might be in the mud and it doesn't seem like it but then it rains and then it goes down. I would have a pair of these or something like it. I'm not recommending this particular brand but just get something uh, like that to have with you. Alright, I'm gonna go drive the van around for a while. See you soon. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.